Alright, this is story number three. It took a while to upload this because I haven't thought about it too much after I completed it because I completed it surprisingly quickly and I got lost in writing lore of two games. But here we are anyway, so let's get into it. Bound for Chaos. Maya, uh, babe, since when are you watching the news? said John. Hmm? replied Maya. I don't. Why do you ask? They both looked at the TV as the news anchor started to talk. Good evening, everyone. Breaking news from Mayor Keys. Starting midnight, a new legislation will be passed which will allow the government to order civilians to report themselves at the mayor's office starting tomorrow. This legislation targets those with specific illnesses. This includes illnesses like asthma and severe allergies, for example, nut allergies. A proposed schedule has been released and on this schedule you can see which illness will be ordered first. What the mayor is planning with this legislation is unclear as of right now. Updates will follow. This concludes the announcement. We would like to thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your evening. John and Maya looked at each other confused and full of surprise. That cannot be true. Who would do such a thing? said John. Eh, this must be a late April Fool's joke. It has to be, said Maya. Who would think of such a thing? This cannot be serious. Anyway, I guess that's enough for me for today. I'm heading off to bed. I'll see you there. A few days passed. Have you heard anything from Sasha, Maya? asked John. Weren't you supposed to go lunch with her today? Maya looked up from her phone. Well, yes, but I've not heard from her in two days. She also has not been online since yesterday morning. John looked up and thought for a second. Didn't Sasha have asthma? asked John. Maya nodded. That was one of the two things they announced two days ago, didn't they? said John. Maya's eyes widened. Didn't they say nut allergies in the announcement as well? That means that I fall under this new ruling. What if this is real? What will happen to me? What if they already took Sasha? She started breathing faster and heavier as she rambled on. John walked up to her and kneeled down, holding her hand. Look at me. Don't worry. It's probably just a coincidence. This will all be over in a week. You will see. She probably overslept or went through her data early. Maya seemed to calm down slightly. You must be right. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. John gave Maya a hug. Don't worry. You'll be fine. We will be fine. Let's just sit this one out, shall we? Maya nodded and looked at John. I could really use a cup of tea. I need to relax a little. One week had passed since the first announcement had been made. Nothing had been heard from Sasha up to this point, apart from friends asking John and Maya if they had heard anything from her. I am telling you, John, this is not good. No one has heard from Sasha in a week. Something must have happened. There is no way we would not have heard from her in that long. Maya looked worryingly at John. Alright, I'll give you that. But don't worry, they haven't even announced a new disease yet. As if they were speaking of the devil, a second announcement showed up on TV. Dear citizens, this is Mayor Keys speaking to all of you. Starting as of tomorrow, every citizen with an energy will have to present themselves at my office. We would all appreciate your cooperation in advance. Maya and John looked at each other, and Maya's eyes widened again. There is no way I'm going, she said. I don't care if they are healing or healing or whatever they are planning to do with me. I am not going. John looked at her and held her hand again. Don't worry, you'll be fine. A few hours passed until right after midnight when a few loud knocks could be heard on the front door. Anyone home? Please, KPD, open up. A few more loud knocks could be heard. Maya and John looked at the door as they froze for a second. We have to hide. There was no way they are coming in for a cup of coffee. John looked around and grabbed Maya's hand, pulling her with him. Follow me. Hurry, he said. They crawled through the fireplace into a small room behind it. As the house was built during the Civil War, it had a hidden compartment that was fairly unknown to still be operational. Maya looked at him surprised when John showed her the entrance and pulled her with him. Where did this come from? She whispered to him. How long have you known that this room exists? Are you sure that they won't know? What even is this? John looked at her and only raised a finger, holding it against his lips to tell Maya to be quiet. 
The front door opened with a loud bang. Lots of footsteps and yelling could be heard. John looked at Maya and whispered very quietly, Whenever they are gone, we will wait to be sure that we will be too. Maya nodded, and they listened for the footsteps. Noise could be heard moving closer and further away again. Once some rumbling, which seemed to come from the hearth, made their hearts skip a beat. Did they know this space existed? The noise seemed to go away, however. They both stayed in the room for at least 15 more minutes after it went quiet. John looked at Maya and slowly opened the entrance, crawling back out through the fireplace. The room was torn apart, as they were definitely looking for something. Or someone. The engine rumbled. Maya ran up to the car and threw a few suitcases and bags inside of it and closed the door after she got in next to John, which immediately started to drive, both breathing heavily, looking around to see if there was any law enforcement waiting for them. It all seemed clear. John kept driving, trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. Great, John said. A red light. He looked around as the police car stood diagonally from him on the crossroad. John looked at Maya and said, Maya, look through the craft department, that way they have less visuals of you, come on. She ducked as soon as John stopped talking, trying to stay as low profile as she could. Green. John started to drive off and pass the police car. As soon as he passed, he saw the lights turn on and the sirens go off. John and Maya's heart both skipped a beat again. Everything seemed to go in slow motion. However, the police car drove past them and turned left. John and Maya were both breathing heavily, looking at each other in disbelief. Were they about to get away? The lights shine bright. John and Maya sat on the hood of the car, both still very confused, but slightly more relaxed. They looked at each other and sighed deeply. I guess this is the end for us in Keynes. We are not going back, ever, are we? said Maya. John sighed again. Yes, this is the end. I cannot lose you to a mayor gone berserk. They looked at each other again, before turning back to look at the horizon. Sirens could be heard, flashes of light could be seen. Helicopters were now flying over, probably looking for people like them, trying to escape from Keynes. They both got back in the car, started the engine, and drove off to the other side of the mountain, preparing themselves to start all over again, hopefully in a place when no one ever heard of Keynes and its mayor. And that's it. That's the story of John and Maya in The Bound for Chaos. I hope you enjoyed this short little story. Uh, like I said in the beginning, it was completed a lot faster than I thought it would. The fourth story in this attempt to kind of just increase my experience in story writing, etc. It might have to wait a little bit, since like I said, I am compiling two sets of game lore. One of the games being RuneScape, and one of the games being StarCraft. And StarCraft having more lore than I thought it would. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do like things like this, please let me know. I will try my best in somewhere in the future if I make a fourth one. And if you did like this one, I already have two more stories on my channel. The first one being The Unknown Road. It's being spoken by a translator voice kind of robot thing. And the second one also being narrated by me. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll hope to see you in the next one. And have a great day.